Justin here with Fly Lady, coming at you from the laundry room from our house. I am working on a project today uh, with our washing machine that's having trouble draining. Uh, it's something that has caused a problem over the past several months, and I'm finally getting around to doing it, and I should have done it long before now. The, um, the main drain, I'll show you real fast, is under the main part of the washing machine right here. Uh, it has a clean out right here as it drains the whole apparatus of the barrel of the front loader. Uh, this washing machine is about 15 years old. Uh, so it, it's gotten a lot of life and we've gotten a lot of loads of laundry through it. Uh, but as you know, things do break over time. And this is a, uh, a home remedy that I'm showing you today. Uh, there is the main clean out, which is this thing right here, just kind of screws in. And I opened up the bottom hatch right here with a couple of screws and this thing comes off. And then it exposes uh, the main pump and the main clean out here that catches stuff to keep the motor from getting burned up. Well, inside this, inside this little tray here was all of these odds and ends little things here. We have little pieces of cloth, little toys. Uh, there's even a golf tee, piece of a pencil, gum wrappers, sticks, rubber bands. Uh, little nuts off of something, a little more little toys, more cloths, and all of that was stuck in the clean out, preventing it from draining properly. So what I'm hoping is once we get this back in, it will be good to go, nice and clean, and it will drain like it's supposed to. And that's all from Fly Lady, and I will give you the results later. Justin from Fly Lady coming back to you uh, on my second part of my washing machine in the laundry room project that I'm working on. I have finished with the cleaning out of the main drain and getting everything nice and clean. And now I'm actually running the washing machine with two cups of vinegar and on a hot cycle uh, to get it all nice and taken care of and super clean before I run any more laundry through it And this will also give me a good test to see that it's draining properly. So again, I've got uh, two cups of vinegar uh, And I got my little measuring cup here and this will take care of everything uh, It should sanitize and get all the bacteria out with the two cups of vinegar and then I'll run another load, just hot water by itself to get kind of the vinegar smell out. And then it should be running properly. And we'll check back with you uh, once that's completed and I will let you know. Just to back for the third and final installment of our washing machine maintenance slash fixing project here today. Uh, this is the washing machine that I have worked on today uh, and it had a clog in the main drain uh, it's a clean out that's on the main drain that we have discussed in our previous videos I have just finished the final uh, clean out process using uh, vinegar uh, two cups of vinegar uh, running a hot cycle through it and finishing and it runs great uh, drains fast and it's back to doing what it should and being normal and these are the tools that I had to use to do this. So I had a purple rag to help me with the clean out. I used a lot of little Clorox wipes to do some of the disinfecting on some of the uh, flanges and different things like that, as you can see. Uh, I wiped out the entire barrel uh, with the uh, Fly Lady microfiber cloth. And I also used the rubber scrubber here to actually uh, clean a lot of the little gunk that was inside the little uh, pre-filter of this little canister part of this clean out. Um, and I had to use my trusty screw gun here and drill uh, with a uh, Torx head bit. And I had three different screws that are this size right here that held on this front panel. And that was really all I had to do to expose uh, the undercarriage of the washing machine. 
And once I did that, it took about two minutes to get it all nice and clean. And then it was just a matter of uh, putting it all back together. And uh, one of the biggest things you need to watch out for is when you unscrew this, uh, all the gunk that's in there will come out and, and it'll all pull out. But also any trapped water will pull out uh, and it will spill all over the floor here. So it's best to have several towels that you can kind of put under and uh, catch the water as it's coming out. And I highly recommend you not wait for 15 years before you actually do this. Uh, I should have done it years ago and it's something I'm actually gonna put on my yearly maintenance to check out because it's so easy uh, to clean it and to have your washing machine running properly. And that's all from uh, here in the laundry room and uh, until next time.